All right, brother man, thanks for coming on very quick, chopping it up with me. Um, my man, Cigar Boss, in the building. Man, it's the, I, I, I want you to listen to the disrespect in this man's voice. Listen, listen, listen to this right quick. Old truckers mad at the new truckers. Between an uh, old veteran, I got 20, 30 plus years experience, truck drivers on TikTok versus the new generation of TikTok. And I see they saying, the old drivers saying, us new generation drivers messed it up. Hey man, let me be for real, man. The reason y'all ass been driving these trucks for 20 and 30 years because y'all ass ain't got no business coming since. Mm. It don't make no sense to drive no truck for 20, 30 years, man. If y'all ain't figured it out, then y'all the problem. Mm. Second of all, my whole circle, all is on trucks. None of us drive for under $3 a mile. Mm. We, we sit on the phone all day and have those conversations. Now, now, now you see how, how, how he disrespects you guys. And then he and then he jumps right into the money. Well, to to counter to counter his his point, first and foremost, Kevin, we opened the door. There's a lot of when we got in the business, there's a lot of racism in trucking. So we had to put up with a lot of shit. Because when I was 22, uh, he talking about making paper. My nigga, my first truck was a Peterbilt 359, 13 speed. Let's get it clear. Mm. Okay. I drive a two hundred thousand dollar motherfucking Mercedes, and that's that's on video, nigga. It's an AMG sitting on for a We don't work with no bullshit. I don't fuck with none. I own multiple businesses. Let's be clear. You are in. You talking to a CEO? It ain't no. It ain't about a situation where I don't understand how to monetize. You got guys out here who had to pay their dues so you could bring your bitch ass out here and get that fucking ass fictitious three dollars a mile. We had to drive through the mountains at night, in the rain, through the snow, put up with being called nigga, uh, boy, what you doing with that truck at the truck stop? You little motherfuckers just now getting in the business trying to figure out, and for one, I'm going to give a fuck if your whole sucker do on our own truck. Ain't now one of you motherfuckers can sit there and tell me how the truck going to generate $309,000 or more or better and how many working days it is. You know why? Because you don't know it. Tell me what the daily average is. Tell me how much the motherfucking truck's supposed to make. Outside of the 104 days that you count as weekends, if you want to talk business, let's talk business. Now that, tell me how you and your stuff are going to transfer the ownership between the, the four of y'all, bank property, build a motherfucking warehouse, all y'all centralize y'all freight. That's called freight forwarding, nigga. When they bring it in from one stock, move it to the other stock. Tell me how you centralize this. See, that's what me and my team do. All right? And how many modes of trucking are you in? Are you in driving? Are you in stuff bed? Are you in dust dick, stuff dick, RGN? Briefer, which is refrigerated. Are you in the oil? Tell me the top three pay a loan shot in 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 America right now. Okay. Don't cover me that three dollar mile shit. I just got out of a meeting. Top three paying loans in America ain't got shit to do with that bullshit he's talking about. The top paying loan in America, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give give y'all motherfuckers some game right now so y'all know who the fuck y'all talking to. Number one paying loan in America is holding buck off of Exxon. Twenty five hundred dollar load, you have four loads a day. It's a short run. You can make ten thousand dollars a day. If you're not doing that, the next time paying load is avocados. Catch avocado load from the border to Jersey, pay a twelve stack. The next time paying load is you sign on a two year contract with Amazon and they and they pay your sign on bonus and you sign on top only. You can get level stacks for load. So don't come don't come with the money. Cause you're talking to a motherfucker to understand the money. Matter of fact, I posted a load. Hold on, hold on, let me think. I posted a load in I posted a load in these summer so I could separate y'all bitches from the motherfuckers who really do business. I had a load I turned down because I was going on vacation in December twenty one. One hundred and four thousand for one load. Now please understand, you were talking to you're in the in the realm of the gods. You're in the realm of the decision makers. So don't don't start coming for us. Cause we're shut that bullshit down off the once. That's why you bitches over there on TikTok. So y'all can tell them lies. If you can't, you can't tell them shit, shit with me. You can't tell them sitting at the table with the, with the decision maker because I am a decision maker. Matter of fact, you can go to my other business and look at me at the head of my goddamn table, sitting at the front in my home, in my home staff. Look it up, nigga. It's the brain. T H E D H A N G G R U. That's a multi-state medical practice, technology-based healthcare in ten different states. So if you want to talk about how you move money from trucking. And become a multi-story entrepreneur, you're talking to one. But do not disrespect the, the sacrifices, the lifestyle changes, and the multi and, and, and all the, 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 the dinners 
and the, and the soccer practice and the football practice that we have made, we have sacrificed. So you need to get out here and make this the new dope game. I ain't standing for it, and ain't nobody else that's, that's got real experience standing for it. So y'all can miss me with the bullshit. And you want to talk real truckers? Give my motherfucking number. I don't, I don't duck hide or bitch. We can have a debate. I only debate with my equals. All others I teach. That's a little knowledge for you, nigga. That's John Henry Clark. Now, okay. now let's get back. Okay. Now, back. now hold on. He, he, he got some more to say. Hold on. And, like I say, if you watch my previous vid vid videos, right now I'm running containers. I'm running, running containers. What? I'm not leased on to anybody. On my own authority. I have my own UIA agreement on... My own chance of agreement. So what I do is I, I read the emails and go through the emails and they, they email us and ask us what's the truck availability and what's our rate. I always tell them 450 a mile. This right here is a round trip, Mobile, Alabama port to a southern ties in Birmingham, Alabama. Shit paying 2100 with detention. So man, and hey, and most of y'all is least on that's running this, this is same route. Most of y'all OGs with them big ass Peterbilt's that y'all have had 20, 30 years is running the same route for 12, 1300 because y'all at least on. Well, first of all, he runs on, he runs the fucking containers, man. All right, so he got it, he got a tweet. That's just, just keeping the butt. My nigga, I got my tweet card. I don't run containers because I don't want to fuck around with all the motherfuckers on the port every day that run around there like a bunch of goddamn ants. Now, he's talking, he talking that chassis shit. All you got to do is go to the North American chassis pool, register, and get your chassis, and you can pull the containers too. Yeah, there's a need everywhere. The container freight is if you really want to understand the capacity issue, you know, freight waves is a, is a reference source that y'all can look at, you know, to, for those of you who want to read and really understand trucking. You go to capacity rate, or when you post the truck, that's called truck availability, by the way. When a truck is put in a lane, the truck availability, he's not talking about anything special. I don't know why the fuck you think he's special, nigga. That's just truck availability. The lane is open, the lane, the lane is posted. Why are you reading the email, nigga? Why don't you have a direct contact with Merck or Haley Lloyd since you say you a boss? Why don't you have a direct, simple contract moving the motherfucking containers since you say you a boss? Why ain't you took your bitch ass down into the Port Authority? See, I'm, I'm a member of the South Carolina Port Authority. <laughs> See, I sit a little different. So I can, I talk heavy, because I carry heavy weight. See, big boy heavyweight, what one of my partners called me. See, when you can, when you can see the port information come in, when you're sitting in the meetings on Tuesdays, that the port, when the Port Authority meet, you see the changes that's going to be mean. I, I can tell you how far they're going to let the drainage, they, how much money they're going to spend to, to reduce the, 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 the drainage and if, 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 if look so that they can add to the port. How much money they you ready to spend? Because, nigga, you're not sitting at the table. And see, you out there popping shit because you got new money. And that ain't really new money. That's flex money based on the fact that you made some good decisions. But you don't turn around and shit on the motherfuckers who own the dough for you to be there. That's like, that would be like um, um, one of these new quarterbacks shitting on Warren Moon. And Warren Moon did his thing, both in the Canadian League. And in the NFL, you, you got the, the people that popped it, that open the door for you, you got to pay homage. Now, you don't say you don't have to pay homage, but understand, so the thing about wisdom is this. Let's say you wouldn't run containers. And one of these old heads is a director of operations. Uh, his sister, cousin, the uh, TM, the transportation manager for one of these major corporations. And you go to them and get a contract. He's popping all this shit on, uh, on TikTok. Guess what, player? No, no minds. Your little shit go stay right there. And if you can't, if you just pull in containers, yeah, that's what you gonna be doing. But if you not, you don't have a direct contract, and you only living with living with dealing with broker freight. You just, you just a hard, you just a more advanced shop rock. That's all the fuck that is. And some of these older guys done had to fight to get where they are. They had to like you, you a lot of you young niggas done benefited from the fight. We done, we done the research, put the time in, proved. Paid the weight, hauled the freight, bought the trucks, and built families and built businesses as a result. So now these post twenty sixteen motherfuckers think they got all the game. Now, nah, player, you don't have all the game. You just have an opportunity based on capacity issues. But when the capacity issue changes, and you motherfuckers got to get it off the muscle for real, because this shit is going to when it turn the other way, all oh, that's going to be based on relationship. All these TikTok trucks, y'all niggas going to go like Stella Don. Out the back door. Oh, that's a little history for your ass. Sell a 
was on C E L A D O N twenty nineteen November. Look that shit up. Don't ever come up here talking that boss talk to a real boss, nigga. You don't sit it this high. Play your game, stay in your lane, run your little shit down sixty five. Yeah, nigga, I know where you go. Run your little shit up and down sixty five and keep that little three, four, five grand that you're making. Stay in your lane with that. You ain't ready to get out here with the big boys for real. Not not the real bosses. And on that note, you and on that note, that's why I bring my man up in here to give me a history lesson. Cigar Boss, thank you very much, bro. I really do appreciate your time because I know you're a busy man. So thank you very much for giving me this little bit of time and giving your oh, thoughts giving your thoughts on uh on, on this uh TikToker right here. That's the it's difference it's between old heads and new jacks. And we're gonna leave it right there. Thank you, man. Appreciate the hard work, bro. I appreciate you, man. I'll holler at you later. All right, later, fam.